can create money because their liabilities, which means our deposits, are generally accepted as payment. But just how much money can they create? There are limits to the amount of money that banks can create. As we've seen, banks are required to keep a cash reserve of 2.5% of deposits with the South African Reserve Bank. So each new loan is 2.5% less than the last, and this creates the limit on how much money banks can create. We can write it as follows. Cash reserves, R, have to be equal to 2.5% of total deposits, D. 2.5% is 2.5 divided by 100, or 0.025. To work out potential demand deposits, we have to do a little algebra. We know reserves, R, equals 0.025 of deposits, D. So, to work out D, we divide both sides by 0.025. And that leaves us with D is equal to 1 divided by 0.025 times R. And 1 divided by 0.025 is 40. Total deposits reflected in banks around the country can be up to 40 times larger than the actual cash reserves held by the Reserve Bank. So, a change in reserves can lead to a change in total deposits that is 40 times larger than the initial change. This, then, is our credit multiplier. If the total amount of cash reserves in the economy increases by a thousand rand, banks will be able to create additional deposits equal to 40 times this, up to 40,000 rands. Tough economic conditions, spiralling debt and troubled markets could persuade the Reserve Bank to increase the standard cash reserve requirement to ensure that the deposits of citizens are more secure. If this happens, commercial banks will be able to create fewer additional deposits with a given increase in cash reserves. Suppose that the cash reserve requirement increases from 2.5 to 5%. Now that will mean that the potential change in deposits resulting from an increase in reserves will now be only 20 times larger than the increase in reserves. The credit multiplier, therefore, has dropped to 20. Now, we know that the South African Reserve Bank influences growth in the money supply. So is this how they do it? By changing the cash reserve requirement? The answer is no. In South Africa, and in most stable economies, the reality is that the cash reserve requirement does not change very often and it is not used as a tool to influence growth in the money supply.